It's being called intelligent CCTV, surveillance cameras that can pick out suspicious behaviour in a crowd and stop terrorists before they strike. Researchers in Reading are leading the world in developing the new technology. The BBC's Home Affairs correspondent Andy Tai has been given unique access to see how it works. It's CCTV, but not as we know it. These pictures are from thinking cameras. They're counting the number of passengers on this railway platform, and they're programmed to pick out any unusual movement or behaviour. Like the 7-7 London bombers, researchers at Reading University think they've got the technology to spot the terrorists before they strike. And government ministers think it could make all the difference. We're able to look within a plane in terms of how people behave, and again, that adds to it. But of course, ideally, we want to stop people ever getting to a plane. Um, and that, I, I believe, that this will enable us to do it. And I believe, well, I know, we are ahead of anyone in the world in this area. Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalab, who allegedly tried to blow up this plane over Detroit on Christmas Day. The new generation CCTV that could have identified him earlier is already being tried out on aircraft and here on the ground at Toulouse Airport in France. We were given the chance to put it to the test by abandoning a suspect item among a small crowd made up of volunteers. I'm pretending to be a terrorist by taking my bag and leaving it just here and then walking away and seeing whether the system can pick me up. Within seconds, a computer has compared my movements with the people around me and before I've even left the area, the alarm flashes, bag and bomber identified. We know operators can't really effectively monitor all the CCTV. Our systems can help to process that video automatically and actually alert the operator to help the operator to understand whether there's something unusual going on in the scene. Trials are already underway with major transport operators and the system's developers hope it could form part of the counter-terrorism infrastructure for the 2012 London Olympics. Andy Tai, BBC London News.